How do you close partials if you're in a trade in the futures market on Project X? This is a question I've been getting asked a lot. I'm gonna demonstrate this on TradingView since the markets aren't open. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it on Project X as well. If you're long or short, how do you start to scale out of that position or add on if you want to? Let's hop onto the charts and take a look. And if you don't know me from a hole in the wall, my name's Zach. I trade futures live on YouTube almost every day. This is my live page. All my videos stay up. If you guys want to check this stuff out, I'm live 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 100% free almost every day. I answer questions on the live sessions. More than happy to walk you through this while I'm trading. Let's jump right into it. So again, for this example, I'm going to show you this using TradingView in replay mode because the markets are closed, but I'm also going to walk you through it, how to do it on Project X. So let's just go to a random bar, right? We're here on the ES chart. And let's say we enter with five, uh, five ES, right? So we are long five ES and our game plan is we have a stop loss down here and we have a take profit up here, right? But if price starts to move in the direction of our trade, we want to scale out. We want to close partials. We want to exit some of that position. We want to secure some profits. Well, how do we do that? Let's make sure we actually can move this thing into profit a little bit first. Well, we started to. And we came back down. Okay, perfect. So we're in profit. And let's say we want to close two out of the five contracts. And this is a good example that I chose five. With futures, you have to exit and enter whole contracts. You can't close two and a half, for example. We can't close half of this position because we have an odd number. We have five on. We can close all five. We can close one, two, three. But we can't close, for example, two and a half mini contracts on the ES or any other contract, right? So how would we exit two of five here well with a market order selling two so i'm going to come back in here and put the quantity two just so we can get this example done and if i hit sell two what happens we close out of three we, excuse me we close out of two we're down to three contracts long now instead of five and as you could see we secured the profit we closed out of the profit on two of the five contracts now we can continue to let this trade maybe play out. And if we move farther into profit, we'll scale out of some more. Maybe we say, if we move into profit here, we'll close out, you know, another few contracts. Okay, we're pushing higher. Let's say that's good enough. And uh, we think it's going to come back down. We want to close out of another two more. How do we do that? Well, we're long. We need to take a sell position. Now, some of this might be obvious to you guys, but just to watch it happen again, we're closing out two by hitting the sell button. We're selling two contracts, closing out of uh, two of the three remaining that we had here. Now we're long one. And as you can see what happened down here, profit continued to rise because we are realizing profit. We let this last one run all the way to the take profit or maybe back to break even. We say, okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and close out that last one. How would we do that if we didn't just want to hit close? Well, we would sell one, right? Very simple. Boom. And now we have $1,000 in profit. To take a look at what this looks like if we wanted to add, for example, let's just do this example. We have uh, five, right? We're long five again. We have a stop loss way down here. We have a take profit right way up here. And we say, hey, you know what? If this starts to break out, we want to scale in. Well, how would we scale into a position? We would continue to buy, right? So now let's say instead of closing two of the five, we want to add two. How do we do that? We're going to buy again. You can see what happens as we buy in profit. Our entry is averaged, right? So they, it is not separate. Uh, it's the same rules that you have with regulated Forex exchanges in the futures market. These positions are averaged together. You don't have a thousand lines in the chart for every individual entry. That average price is averaged together. On your trade report, you will see individual trades, right? For those two that we entered there long, whatever we close those two out, we'll see what those look at uh, look like as we go. But let's just play this one forward, kind of have an example. We uh, We scaled in there. Okay, it moves into profit. You know what? We say, you know what? We're going to continue to scale in. We're going to buy two more. This is going to go from seven uh, to nine. We're going to move up in profit, right? Because we're continuing to add. We're having a worse entry price because we're buying two more right here. And now this is our average price. Uh, and then let's say, hey, you know what? We want to start scaling out. Moves a little bit further. And we go, you know what? We want to start scaling out. We're going to close six here. How would we close six here, guys? We're going to sell six. Boom, watch what happens to that entry, right? We sell six. We realized a whole bunch more of that profit, right? By closing out in profit, profitable trades. What happened to our entry? Why did it move up there? Well, we had an average price based on continuing to scale in way up here that was down here, right? Initially, we were down here. Now we've moved up to 58, 90 and a half. As we close more, this will continue to move up, right? Because 
we now have the remaining uh, contracts on that we entered all the way up here, right? If I sell more, take a look. We're realizing more profit. That entry is moving farther up because we scaled in late on these. We'll go ahead and flatten all. And here we are with our nice profit. Let's take a look at what this looks like on Project X. This is the Project X platform with top one futures. If you guys want to check this out, code RDF for the best deals. It's an instant funded prop firm on Project X. You can copy trade up to three accounts to get funded instantly with up to $450,000 of SIM capital. Really sweet. I'm trading live these every day, 9.30 a.m. Eastern on YouTube, but I'll link it right here if you guys want to check it out again. Code RDF for the best deals. So what does this look like? Over here on the position, uh, excuse me, on the order card, we're able to buy and sell. Again, the market's closed. But if we bought one or five, for example, the exact same thing would happen, right? We would have an entry right here with five, stop loss, take profit. We could close out by doing a number of things, which is why I just want to show you what this looks like, a couple different ways we could do this. We can close out by just hitting the sell button, right? We could also enter limit orders. We could enter limit orders above price to sell if we are long or below price to buy if we are short by doing a number of different ways. We could do it here on the actual order card. We could enter a limit order at a specific price. We could right click on the chart and hit limit sell one, right? Maybe we want to sell one if we reach this price. We don't have to physically mark it out. We can use a limit order to close out partials. We could also use a limit order to add in. Oh, excuse me, we can use a stop order to add in. Technically a limit order to continue adding in also. So along with that, maybe we want to get out a different way. You can join bid or join ask. This is exactly what it says. Based on the number of contracts you have here, you will join bid or ask in a limit order. And if you are you know, in a buy and you wanted to start to exit it that way, you could do that by joining ask, right? Be joining the sell of however many contracts you have on here. Very, very simple stuff, guys. It can be a little bit confusing if you're coming from like uh, CFDs on US indices or Forex. Um, that it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit less flexible because we have to enter and exit with whole contracts. It also could be a little different if you're used to that uh, that average, no uh, first in, first out rules and that price not averaging just every trade staying individual. Uh, but once you you know test it out a little bit and get used to it, it's, it's very simple. I would play with it on uh, TradingView. And then if you came over to Top One Futures on Project X here, you can use a practice account, a demo account. You can you know, purchase an account, an eval, whatever you want to do. And you can trade with a demo account in the live mark conditions. It is the sim environment, but live mark conditions, you could practice, right? You can limit in, um, you know, add by just continuing to buy in along or, or exit with sales. You can use limit orders. You can test this stuff out and see for yourself. Very, very simple to close partials on Project X or on TradingView if you're trading straight from TradingView. If you guys have any questions, ask them down below in the comments. More than happy to uh, answer. And catch me trading live on YouTube, 100% free, 9.30 a.m. right here. Smash subscribe if you want to chat. I keep subscriber mode on. Remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't provide financial advice. I'm just an idiot here yapping on YouTube for entertainment purposes only. Do your own research. Make your own trading decisions. Trading is very risky. Almost all traders lose money. If you trade, you're probably going to lose all your money. Read CFTC Rule 4.41 on simulated trading, which is what this is, even in funded prop from accounts, and the affiliate and partnership disclaimer that says, I stand to make money from links and codes in my content, like what I'm talking about right here, top one futures and code RDF. I cannot stand to be unbiased if I stand to make money. Hope to see you guys trading live tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern.